It's Heart Month, so today we're talking tasty snacks that aren't just delicious, but are good for you. Nine News nutritionist Melina Perdomo is here. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. So the American Heart Association recommends we replace saturated fats with unsaturated fats, and that's kind of what you've done here. Exactly, and that's why I brought avocado, because avocado provides the good fats, and they also have a good source of fiber. And um, they're delicious, yes, right? Yes, they are. I can't believe all of these are made with avocado. Right. My mind. And it smells, I wish you guys could smell it. It smells so good. Right, let me start with this one. This is baked avocado. So what you do is that you slice avocado, then you dip it into flour, then into eggs or milk, and then into breadcrumbs. 400 degrees, how long does it take? 10 minutes. And then you just topped it with some seasoning. Right, baked avocado fries. Ooh, it's so good. Right, Please. these are pumpkin avocado coconut snacks. And just blend avocado with pumpkin puree, some oats, um, you can add cacao powder if you like, and then just put it in the refrigerator so that they can get cold before you roll them into balls. Easy to go for kiddos too. Oh yes, That's delicious. A good idea. I used to make this for my husband all the time. That chocolate avocado pudding. It is just whipped avocado with a little bit of plant-based milk. In this case, I use oat milk and then cacao powder. I did add a little bit like a teaspoon of agave nectar just for sweetness and then just top it with berries and almonds, delicious. And the American Heart Association also recommends to go nutty, to have like an ounce of unsalted nuts per day too. Good for the brain, good for the heart, the whole thing. My husband used to be like, I can't even believe this is made of avocado. I know. It's crazy. It is so good and so fast yeah. to do. And creamy. This blows my mind. You made this with avocado? Yes. So in baking, even in baking, you can swap out those bad fats for good fats and you add avocado in there. Same as like if you want to do like gluten-free bread, you do almond flour. If you want to um, lower the sugar, you add applesauce mm -hmm. into your bread. And then lastly, this one is the hot chocolate avocado. You add avocado to add that creaminess into the hot cocoa. Would you blend it with And you blend cocoa? it with avocado and cocoa powder. And that, you know, cocoa powder doesn't have the extra added sugar. Right. So it's delicious and it's creamy and just good. That's the great thing about avocados is it, it's creamy for anything, which is great. Right. Easy to blend, makes everything smooth. And uh, uh, it just add a anywhere, right? And also the other thing they recommend is to go fish, to go for salmon, um, sardines, lake trout, to, for, to get those healthy fats and good fats. And you're talking about oils as well, right? And they also talk about oils, to check your oils, but in moderation. Um, instead of, for example, instead of frying, bake more. And um, there's some other things you can do, but the, the thing is to replace those saturated fats with unsaturated mm -hmm. fats in your diet to reduce the risk of heart attacks and heart disease. Right, these are such great recipes. Melina, thank you so much. We're gonna put the recipes and all the information on our website at 9news.com.